Hello gentle people, Jeff here, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're back in the wood again, good weather. Um, I felt like carving, it's Sunday, but uh, once again, beautiful sun, so I had to be out. Um, I'm into another spot close to where I live. I hope the sound of the highway is not too bad for you. Uh, but yeah, uh, today uh, I was looking at the carvings that I've done in the past. And I took this little guy here uh, with a shield in the back. So that's what we will do today. Super simple. I'm not sure I will do exactly like this guy, but uh, show it a little bit closer to you. So it has a little shield in the back, and then sword on one side, nothing on the others, other sides. So we'll see uh, how it turned out. Should be fairly simple. Uh, the last two videos I've done were more detailed, took more time to do, uh, like tear especially, um, so I wanted to do something a little bit more simple, from uh, a beginner to beginners maybe, let's put it that way. Uh, so yeah, let's get cracking. All right, so knife is dropped, putting my gloves, for security, I got myself a new chair, it's kind of comfy. It was expensive, but we'll see how it is to carve with that. So I took this really janky piece of wood. Uh, it's not square, not rectangle, not nothing. I still have the layer in the back here that it needs to remove because that's horrible wood. So that will be the back. Um, I think first thing first, the shield is like the important part in this guy. Um, so in the middle, I guess, we could have the shield, so drawing a line here and here, so the shield would be around this area, strapped to the back, something like this. Then as usual, a little line for the feet. In the middle of that, I think, for the shoulders. Just on the other side, then the beard will go something like this. Uh, yeah, middle line, it's important. I don't know the size of the wood again. It's super janky, like I said before. I will... Uh, measure another piece but all my carvings are usually pretty much the same size so it's like what two and a half inches maybe three inch by 1.5 by 1.5 something like that i would presume well, that's enough for the line we'll start by removing the wood from the back here so we need to remove quite a lot of wood to make the shield pop out so we'll start with that stop cut on the corners So we'll remove all the wood from here, so you can make a stop cut. It's always easier when I can lean on a table when I do that. Like my last video, be really careful when you carve with your legs close by, because you don't want to cut your legs. Safety first. Thank you. 
So we pop all that wood. Oops, sorry. From here and then from below. So we'll have the shield. We'll see how it is for the size of the body. Might be small, but uh, the one that I carved last time is a really chubby dude. So maybe this guy will be more uh, skinny. Hello, bird. I'm thinking about making another video soon uh, about just just a couple of tips and tricks that I've learned in the last year of carving. Like you know, from from beginners to beginners. I don't know if I will add anything more to what is already out there on YouTube. There's I mean, there's not that many whittlers. There's a lot of carvers using chisel, but whittlers, uh, like what I do, or obviously Doug, the big names, Doug, Linker, Gene Messer, these guys. Uh, there's not that many whittlers. There's a couple of new ones, like me, but uh, you know, who the... Who else? There's uh, Jeff Carves, another Jeff. He's doing all these cool big head guys. There's, um, well, it used to be Sharon Myart, but she hasn't posted anything in many years. And uh, Homewood Spirit, obviously. There's, uh, what's the name? Basswood Carving, also. And I'm sure there's a lot more that I don't remember. Uh, yeah, ask uh, Woodchuck, also. Cool guy. And uh, But yeah, I'm thinking about maybe making a couple of tips and tricks from beginner to beginner, because that's what I am. <laughs> Alright, so we have the shield now. And the back. Oops, wrong side. Uh, now let's go back to the usual, so uh, let's go with the feet, stop cut, on one corner, wood is kind of hard, I'm not able to go that deep on my stop cuts, other side, there we go, A good sound of crack. When you merge the stop cut. Okay. Where should I be? Like here. Then we'll go remove the wood in the middle so we can make a small stop cut. Pop that wood. Okay, we'll fix that later. So we got the feet. Now we'll do the little V cut I usually do for the side here. Just to know where the shoulders are. And where the beard starts. Gives a good indication to mark the triangle for the beard later. Okay, so we we sh we could um, take the corner here and link everything. I will use my pencil to mark the line here for the back of the head. So you know the shield should be kind of kind of thick like this on both sides. Make sure we don't remove that. Then link the face here. We'll round everything as usual. And then the beard. I don't know. Let's have a, a square beard maybe? We'll see. 
We will see. <coughs> Let's follow that line. Make sure you don't remove too much wood here. That's the shield. We'll round it up after. We'll not leave it square like that. But yeah, keep that in mind. I'm wondering if I forgot... I'm sure I forgot other Whittlers. There's more Whittlers on YouTube, but like... There's not that much. There's not that many of us, I think. Like, I just added myself to the pool, but... Like, Whittlers? They're probably like 10 or something like this, I think. If you know more... You can leave that in the comment. But I think at this point YouTube probably suggested every single one of them. For the Whittlers carving little figurines. I sub to every single one of them also. <laughs> Gives me some uh, ideas. Okay, let's cut a little cut in the middle here let's lose the feet the same thing in the back cut in the middle then a cut in an angle on both sides. And then a little stub cut under the shield that may that will make everything pop out. Let's round the corners here. So that'll be done. Okay. We'll remove the wood on the side here. All of it. So the shoulders will pop out. Okay, so you see the head is inside now. Okay. Feels like I haven't carved this style for ever. It was just a couple of weeks, I guess. So I think I'll just do a little thing for the shield, following the line here. I've done a stop cut on each side and I will just go uh, do a follow along cut. There we go. To remove some wood. Uh, 
When you do a cut like that, just make sure that you're not splitting too much wood. If it goes bad on one side, then carve on the other. Well, now I'm almost wondering if I want to keep the shield squared, but I should not. Vikings had rounded shield. It will be kind of round, I guess. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, I want to attack the face, uh, so I'll go along with the beard. This. It's kind of square. Square beard. So you see here. So I will remove the wood on the sides. I think I'll go from below or a bit. We'll adjust that later. front carve the be the beard a bit deeper just trying to carve around that's trickier than I thought Maybe in the front, keep it kind of flat. My head is kind of flat in the back here, so I'm trying to uh, bring it inwards a little bit more. Okay, <clears throat> so we got a round shape. Uh, I will probably fast forward that part, but try to round everything up for the helmet. Okay, so everything is rounded. Uh, usually what I do after that, um, I've done it outside camera, but while removing all of this wood, it's usually not that great for the blade that, you know, it's not that cool. So I just give it a little, little couple strop to hone it again so it cuts better. Okay, so let's attack the side. We'll finish the head at another point in time. Uh, let's take the pencil. So 
for the arms, um, we're on the belly, I guess. I'll just, I'll just make a line. Same thing on the other side. So that should be the, the hands. And then now I'm thinking about the arm, because the with that guy, I had removing the wood between the arm and the shield here with just a knife is really bad. It's really annoying to do. So now I'm thinking about how I could do that, or I will just do it no matter what. like this guy to have something in his hands but I don't have a lot of space with the wood sadly so I guess he will be barehanded yeah we'll go with that I guess could have like the smallest dagger ever but no I don't think I have enough space for that we'll keep it simple Okay, so, stop cut, where both lines are, it will create the bottom shape of the hand. As usual, it's easier when you cut from the corner than cutting straight from the flat plane. So if you can, start from a corner. It'll be easier to cut after and remove more wood. So you should go kind of deep here so the, um, you know, the hands are not little tiny little piece. Just do it slowly, but surely. Alright, so you see here? It's not that deep, but I'll see if I can go a little bit deeper. should get the gist of it. Something on the other side. Alright, seems to be same depth on each side. So now the feet are going out a lot, so all that wood will be removed at the same depth as the as the hand. So you see all of that. All of this, if you see the line, is going away. Ok, 
Okay. So it should kind of look like this. Now, now, now. Full of wood. Uh, we will remove the wood on both sides of the arms. So if you still have your line, make a stop cut. Like that. And same thing on the other side. Alright. I have one of my arm, not exactly the right spot try to have them both the same depth okay so you have the stop cut on each side then we'll just pop that wood I forgot to bring my brush, so we'll have to do without. Good. If the wood doesn't want to cooperate, go smaller. See here, I'm trying to push, but it's too much. So. Go small bits at a time. There we go. Now it's cooperating. Clean that up, that's really ugly. Okay, so you have both arms here. We'll do the same. Do we do the same? Like I said before, removing the wood between the arms and the shield is really annoying. Well, we'll try it. Don't do a stop cut straight. Do it in an angle, like here. We should be able to remove the wood easier like that. Try to follow the line, but with your knife in an angle. So we'll basically do a long V-cut. It should be easier to remove that wood. There we go. You can see the, the depth here. Do that on the other side. Trying to have the arm at the same the same size. Beautiful. Huh, nice. There is a little bit of sap in there in the wood. Okay. So you should have, sorry, arm on both sides now. Um, well, let's round that shield a bit. It's a bit square. <laughs> so I will just pop four corners. Will probably not be the roundest shield ever, but I think that'll be fine. So we could go on like this. 
like the usual, creating war, cutting one corner will generate two corners, and then we could round the shield like that. I'm not exactly sure if I want to do it. We could at least round the edge though. You know, maybe a couple of them had more square shield. Maybe that's a, sh a shield they stole from the Saxon. to the details again should do that at the end but uh, I don't know I kind of like it jumping all around all the time okay let's see that'll do for now um, let's bring back the arms with the shoulder so from around here, something like that, we'll just cut both the arm and the front just so we kind of remove that cut and merge them together and then this is a bit much Remove a little bit of wood here, a little triangle cut to separate the shoulder, the shield and the head. Okay. Don't know if you can see that, but uh, I'll do that on the other side too. So same thing, build the front and the shoulder together and pop that wood. And then a couple of triangle cut here. Be careful around that area, you don't want to break the shield. I mean removing a chip could be fixable. Like if the guy went to war, in the battle, shield is broken, whatever whatever narrative you want to have. This crow doesn't agree. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Let's round that a little bit. Front. Let's go deeper in the feet. Okay. I'll just round the beard also. The face. Alright, let's attack the face now. So we'll do the helmet first. That's always what I do. So uh, just uh, round here maybe. Well, that would be a little bit too low, so let's, let's start exactly at the same height as the shield. So draw a straight line around it. I want to have a big nose with this guy, so I will not do a, um, a nose protector. It's okay if you go higher in the front, because the, the helmet could be a little bit more, you know. Leaning in the back. This is a good thing. Okay, so stop cut all around, or at least do it in little pieces if you're sitting in a chair like me. Well, 
We will not do any ears or anything fancy like that. Let's say that the beard will cover pretty much everything. Could be a viking, could be a a dwarf, fantasy dwarf, could be a a warrior gnome. <laughs> Pretty much can be whatever you want it to be. So right here in the back up to you but it might be hard to do a really straight cut because of the size of your blade so you could cheat and do a little v-cut instead it's in the back nobody look at that you don't really want to force the blade against the, the wood When you have the thing going all around, don't be afraid to go deeper. That'll create more shadows. Okay. We have the helmet. So now the nose. Let's put it like here. Simple as that. Just a stop cut. But I always go all length from these type of carving. That helps uh, create the cheeks also. I kind of like that. My nose are kind of flatter than carving from the corners, but yeah, it's not too bad. Oops, I will move a bit too much. So you should have this ridge. Uh, and now with a pencil we'll just draw the side lines the bigger they are let's see the center is still like around here the bigger they are the bigger the nose will be and I you might have seen from now but I really like the big nose so you see the line there stop cuts on both sides Pop everything out. Bang. Hop. On both sides. There we go. Always be careful when you cut towards yourself. Start small if it's too... Uh, don't put too much strength ever. The moment you put too much strength, you might cut too far and hurt yourself. Oh, that was a lot of wood. Okay, you should have the nose now. Clean that up a bit, carve the up part, remove this, clean the sides, remove the pencil line, cut the corners, okay, 
So you should have everything in the face now. So we will do a little, remove a little bit of wood here, on the other side too. So what I do normally is that I start from just the, like in the middle of the nose or something like this and I just go deeper to create some sort of eye socket that I paint later as usual if you've been coming back to my videos I don't carve eyes okay so now we'll do the um, the cheeks let's remove, just clean that up and kind of I kind of broke the beard earlier, I think. So I, uh, I'll use my knife, uh, not my knife, my pen, my pencil for you. So I usually go 90 degree from the little nose that we created, and I go along. The shape that is already created. I don't think you can see the line, maybe. But, yeah. And then I do V cuts following the lines. Doesn't need to go that deep. Just just deep enough so you see the you see the difference, the depth. If you're on the corner like this, just and when I since I paint my uh, little guys, I just leave the wood as the skin tone, and just because of that, also you can see the, the difference when I paint the beard. You see the cheek coming out. So yeah, don't you don't have to go that deep. Is just what I'm saying. I really wish I would have brought my uh, So we got the cheeks on both sides. Now the mouth, always simple. One cut in an angle. Oh, that'll be a big mouth. And one cut in the other. Well, that's a really he's really mad. <laughs> then I carve from inside. And then I break the carving. Oops. I guess I'll go a little bit deeper because I kind of broke the wood here. Brush, that's the word I was looking for earlier. Wow, I wish I would have brought my brush. Yes, yeah, so you have this big mustache. We'll do a little underlip. So I do a straight cut in the middle, and then I cut under. You probably can't see that here because of the angle of the camera. Maybe it's a bit too big even. Come on, Wood. Wood doesn't want to cooperate. gives you a, an idea I'll remove more wood 
from the front because the beard is a bit too thin now. Big head, high shoulder, he's kind of holding his face, I think. Okay, so that's the face. He really has his shoulder super high. He's more like a gnome, dead, uh, a gnome with a shield. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> All right, let's round that up in the back. Do a little edge for the feet here, kind of low. Create a pair of pants. Okay, just round the feet because that's horrible. They're way too square. Take it to the side, a little cut in the middle here. Okay. some sort of a pair of pants and the back of the legs. Good. Like this. Almost done there, in fact. It's pretty much uh, what we had to do. I think I'll give this guy a little belt. Something like that. Let's remove the wood on the arm here from the dancer. At least for me, I have to do this. And then the hand. We'll all eyeball them a little bit, but <clears throat> we'll try to make a little square on both sides. And we'll carve them in the sleeve like this. I 
There we go. <clears throat> Make sure you remove the corners. I might have one arm bigger than the other as usual. Yeah, pretty much. I can remove something with them. should have the arm and the ends separated <clears throat> so we'll give this guy a little thumb what we will do it's important to cut with the grain first create a line or is it against? I always forget now we'll go, we'll go against the grain create a stop cut and then remove that little part as you can see we have a thumb now the same thing on the other side, so cut against the grain, I mean perpendicular, and then remove the bottom part, yeah, because I remember with the, the others that I had before, if you go along the grain first, you will just split the whole thing and then the thumb will just break. Okay, so we have little thumb. So with the pencil you will just draw three little lines if you can. I see that one of my hand is a little bit smarter than the other. Then what I would do from here is just do a stop cut. I don't even carve anything, I just do a stop cut. It will sort of generate the shadow. So you see here I'm kind of at the end of the hand, so I can't really carve more than that. The sand is a bit too small. And then I just remove the pencil line. It just creates a little, just a little shadow. That is good enough for what we want to do. Okay, almost done. Um, I'll do a straight cut from where the butt here should be in the front, which is, let's say, same height as the thumb. will basically split the shirt and the pants so I've done the line and then I will carve from under it Okay, 
You can do V cut also. Make a little uh, puffy front. All right. Flatten that out. And then um, you can carve a little straight line here and then remove the wood in a triangle manner. Like this. And then I'll just do a little V cut up this side, then another V cut up V stop, something like this, on this side, and then that will generate a little crotch for a little guy. Something like that. Okay, so what else now? Are we done? We could be kind of done, even though the back leg is a bit too straight for me. We could give him a little, uh, little soul. I kind of hate that. It's too straight. All around the corner of the beard. It's way too straight. Alright, it's a bit better like this. Fix the side of the arm here. I really cut deep earlier, wow. We could cut in an angle on the side of the head to basically separate the beard and the hair like this on both sides you see that I have way less hair on this side I'm wondering if the shoulder is too high no, it's not really that Uh, let's give the guy a uh, little soul. Kind of feel I kind of like that when these feet are so big. Just give them a little soul for the shoes. Be careful with these little cuts. If you go too far, you will just break everything. Good. What else? Make sure that the thumb is separated from the body here. What else? What else? Sounds like it's pretty much done. Maybe try to round the shield a little bit more. We could go for a pattern in the shield maybe. 
let's say we cut around. You should probably draw with a pencil, but I will eyeball everything as I always do. Well, that stop cut was bad. Okay, so we got a circle. I will just remove that wood. Okay. And we basically go along on the inside of the stop cut. Don't have to go that deep. That will basically create some sort of edge for the shield and if you paint it you could have it in a gray iron and then the inside like I've done with this guy I think yeah you see here with the pattern in the middle if you feel like that you could even do some um, some wood plank lines Yeah, let's do that. I think that'll be cool. I should have removed that wood again. Okay. I have a little layer inside. And then you can just... Um, in angle. Do a couple of cuts. That will create some sort of planks. And on the other side you go V cut style. Here we have the planks. And I think that is pretty much it. We have the beard, we have the hair, we have the body. So here it is guys, I hope you enjoyed. Um, that's the two next to each other. I have the new one and the old one here. They're different. Um, both have thick arms and a shield in the back. The old one has a sword, I didn't really felt like it this time because this one was a little bit um, thinner. So I think the sword would have been a bit too small. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed, I hope it was uh, simple enough, uh, going back to a little bit more basic things. The last two videos were uh, high in detail, these guys are pretty straightforward to do, I think. Um, and take like an hour max, so if you want to just whittle a little thing in the wood like me, uh, have a little walk and then bring your knives and a block of wood and then you're good to go. So I hope you enjoyed and then uh, we will see each other in the next video. Bye-bye.